Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about how we can connect our uh, SIP network infrastructure to the signal wire. First of all, what do I mean by our SIP network infrastructure? In a simple world, it can be, for example, your PBX system. Imagine you have installed a free PBX system, a fusion, a free switch, a box, and you are answering the phones in your office. Or, for example, I don't know, you are a hobbyist and you are using it in your home to answer the calls via SIP network. And you want to connect this telephony system to the signal wire. Second question, why do I need to connect my telephony system to the signal wire? I'm receiving the call and I can answer the calls and that's what I'm usually doing. If that's the case, of course, you don't need to connect it to the signal wire. But if you want to add more features, for example, you want to uh, connect your telephony system to an AI agent and answer your customers by a voice AI agent. It seems very complex, but it's really not when you are using a platform like SignalWire. So SignalWire is a cloud telephony platform that provides a lot of features that you can use it independently. So you can go there and create an account by phone number and route it to AI agent and use it. But at least for me or a lot of use cases that uh, my users ask or the in the YouTube they ask it's that the users want to connect their own telephony system and use these features because they have their own lines they have their own infrastructure and they want to connect it to the signal wire for example one use case is that uh, as I mentioned when your customers are calling your uh, office imagine instead of your agent or your reception to answer the call an AI agent will answer the call and will guide the customer and if it is needed it can transfer the call for example to you transfer to your mobile or transfer even back to your SIP network so this is one use case or for example you want to transcribe your calls uh, to see or transcribe your voicemail for example you want to receive a voicemail if you are not uh, in the office and then get the text via text message uh, on your mobile so there are different scenarios and of course, here in 2025, there are a lot of options to do that. There are a lot of options or a lot of providers, or even you can fully run such a system in your own promise and implement from scratch. But I can say it's much more easier if you connect to a, a well-connected uh, platform like SignalWire, because it makes your life much more easier and faster to implement. And also the costing model is per as you use so if you use the platform of course you need to pay it and if you don't use it you don't need to pay so that's the, all the options that you may need to connect your telephony system to the signal wire so in this video we will learn what are the options to connect your telephony to the signal wire before i go into the technical details i want to mention that this video is not sponsored by signal wire uh, although I know their team and I really like working with them, but I just want to have a disclaimer that uh, whatever I explain here is my personal ideas and even technically there is no warranty. So if you find another or better way to do that, just let me know and put in the comment. Or if you are using an, another platform to do the same functions and you think that it's easier that what I explain here then put a comment. I, I'm happy to explore that. Thank you. So let's go and to the technical de details and see what are our options when you are using SignalWire. I can say there are three methods to connect your infrastructure to the SignalWire. The first method is using the SignalWire connector. Of course, the official name is not that. I just like to name it SignalWire connector. The second method is SIP endpoints and the third method is SIP domain or SIP domain apps. Let's explore them one by one. What are the scenarios and for which situations you need to use them? The first option is uh, SignalWire connector or mode SignalWire. This is uh, specifically if you have a free switch system or fusion PBX system and you want to connect your system uh, or free switch system to the signal wire. There is a mode signal wire a module that you can load in your free switch and easily connect your free switch system to the signal wire. I have a, 
uh, very detailed video on how you can use this method to connect your free switch and I put the link in the description if, if you want to know how you can configure your free switch you can refer to that video but I will show you um, what, how you can configure it in the signal wire panel as well so in your signal wire uh, after you log into the panel if you go to the integrations and set up a new integration you can see there are uh, connect to the free switch and also connect to the stack in my understanding both of them are the same even if you go to them connect to the stack it says that you need to use the mode signal wire also the free switch I think the only reason that they put both of them to find so that the users can find it much more easier if they don't know what is what do they mean by signal wire stack but uh, I'm not sure maybe there is another thing behind that in my idea they are the same so you can use any of them and it's very easy for example if you connect to the signal wire you just name it a name let's name demo and then connection token this connection token of course you need to get from your free switch and just refer to my video that I put the link in the description because all the steps I already explained there and I won't explain here anymore let's go to the second method the second method to connect your SIP network is via SIP endpoints uh, signal where in signal where you can create SIP endpoints and then uh, register your system to the signal wire how we how we can do that if you go to the SIP and then click add here you can give it a name for example let's say demo a password and also you can set the options for example if you want uh, the encryption to be optional or required if you set it to the required then you need to configure the SSL and also based on the ciphers SRTP but if it is optional you can send without any encryption I highly recommend you to really enable the encryption and uh, configure the SSL configure the TLS and SRTP that's much more secure and also it's really not that hard to do that so what codec you want to use the defaults or the custom ones or what uh, ciphers do you want to use for the encryption for your media encryption and then where do you want to send the incoming calls from your telephony system to the signal wire so that's how you can uh, route the call so you have your let's say free public system you send you register it as an endpoint into the signal wire and when you call that endpoint from your free PBX or your from your free switch or any other system I'm just named that too because uh, this is most of the most of the users that I'm interacting with are using these two but it can be any SIP uh, machine when you receive the call where do you want to route that for example to a STM script to an AI agent and let's say for example I create the AI agent and name it Alice so when a call is receiving it will route to the AI agent so this is the second method using the SIP endpoint let's go to the third method the third method is uh, SIP domain apps in the previous method we need to we needed to register our PBX as an endpoint of course it's possible but there is another option as well and usually when you install your telephone system in the cloud it has a public IP address and it's much more easier to use IP authentication instead of registration so you can easily use the signal wire domain apps to uh, whitelist your IP address and do the IP authentication instead of registration and um, accept the invites from your payback system let's see how we can do that and if you go to the SIP this time if you click on the domain apps you can create a domain app let's name it for example demo and you need to specify the SIP host URL omit dash demo for example daap.signalway.com Hi, I highly recommend you enable the whitelisting because if you don't enable and if someone knows the SIP host URL they can send call to you and if you really didn't secure your system properly or you let for example incoming calls to be sent calls to PSTN it will be really problematic so just whitelist the IP address 
that you want to receive invites or calls from. So in the IP whitelisting, you need to tell, for example, let's say my IP address is uh, whatever. I mean, it, it should be a public IP address because it can't be in your local network because if it is a private IP, of course, the signal wire doesn't know that and it, it can't differentiate between your private IP address and another one. So it has to be a public IP. Imagine you installed your uh, free PBX in a digital ocean or in AWS. All of them have a public IP address and you can enter that public public IP address here. And then uh, how do you want to route that? Do you want to route it to, a, for example, a call flow, AI agent, a LAMB application? Uh, you have uh, multiple options to, on how you can route these incoming calls. And at the same time, you can set the encryption. Is the encryption required? Is it optional or forbidden? So if it is, for example, required, then you need to run uh, TLS and SRTP to be able to communicate with the uh, SIP domains and signal wire. That's it. So there are three options that you can say you can bring your own trunk or, you, or your own infrastructure to the uh, signal wire. That uh, these three, as we explained, are uh, signal wire connector or mode signal wire, SIP endpoint that your PBX will register as a SIP endpoint into the signal wire and SIP domains that it will use a type of IP authentication to accept the invites from your SIP network infrastructure. And of course, after that, you can route it to anywhere you want, to an AI agent, to a, uh, I don't know, to, a SWM, S, to, to an SWML script or any other feature that is provided by the signal wire. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is useful and if you have any questions or comments, please put in the comments. Thank you and see you in the next video.